Hi there, this is Amy from the Altice Store. We're at SBI in Vegas, and I'm here with David from, from S5. And we're going to show you a couple of options here for installing solar panels on a metal roof. Hey, David. How are you? I'm great. Nice to see you. Awesome. All right, what do we got here? So many of you are familiar with the PV kit, which is the rect attach. It uses the rib of the roof as the rail. Right. So you're eliminating the rails and you're doing the bonding by using the UL ETL approved stainless steel desk. So you're saving time, money, weight on the roof. Uh, ultimately, it comes down to cost, right? right? So a faster, cleaner install. Right, and this is not penetrating your metal roof. On a standing seam, on a this standing is not penetrating. Roof. Okay, so with the bonding, so uh, this is bonding each of the panels together for ground to, within the row. So Correct. you're gonna go from, from one row to ground, and then you're going to be jumpering across the uh, the rows to get everything together. But you don't have to you don't have no to ground each lux. individual That's... panel. So this is going to be just it's bonding and grounding your whole row. That's correct. Nice. And so you've got the edge connectors here, yep. and you've got your mids. Yep. So this is the this is called edge grab. Edge grab, and this is called our regular UL PV kit. Okay. So when you order the PV kit, you're going to get the mid grab and then you order the edge grab by name as an edge grab kit. Excellent. Excellent. All right. And so what if somebody wanted to do uh, actual rails instead of using the, the standing seam? So on, on rails, they can put an L foot on top of a clamp. Depending on the situation, we may rec recommend a standard clamp, which has two set screws, versus a mini that has one set screw. Okay. Uh, so that would be project specific, depending okay. on the conditions, wind, snow, all that type right, of stuff. Right, right. Okay, so can we take a look at some other options as Abs well? Absolutely. Okay. Obviously, there's not just one type of metal roof, so there's several different roof uh, profiles that you need to accommodate. So what have we got over here? Correct. So we just talked about the PV kit. On a standing seam, the PV kit works really well in almost all situations, particularly right. commercial large scale. One of the challenges is on exposed fastened roofs, yeah. such as trapezoidal or R panel or ag panel type of roofs. Uh, the cleanest way to do it is to use a PV kit on top of one of our brackets. This is the rib bracket. It does come in four different sizes and that just varies from panel to panel. Sure. Rib bracket three is most commonly found in the United States. However, there are times or situations where a contractor may choose not to use a PV kit. We would prefer them to do it because that's going to be the most economical. Ah, uh, yeah. But if they choose to do rails, Often what has happened in the past is they'll take a bracket such as a Versa bracket right. and they will put an L foot on top of this right. and so we have created a better widget. Essentially it's called the solar foot and what the solar foot is, it is simply the right way to attach to a trapezoidal roof. It has butyl sealing on it mm. and it simply sits in the flat of the panel and then you attach the L foot to it. The stud is integrated. You just drop the L foot on top of it. It does attach into the structure. Right. Water migration is not an issue because of the butyl sealant. And it can go into the purlin, the decking, but it does have to go into the structure. It creates a lower profile, which eliminates issues with moment arm and other other things due to snow or wind load. Right. So the, con the the concern is if you had the rib bracket on up on the high trapezoid and then put an L foot on top of that, that's you create a moment really arm, high. A lever point. Right. And so right. we always want to eliminate that. The rib bracket is not intended at all right. for use. The rib bracket one, two and three and four are not intended for use with the L foot. So you would use it strictly with the P V. Yes. Yeah. If you do want to use an, a, a rail on a trapezoid, go with go low. Go low. And we also have some other products that you might be familiar with, such as the Protea bracket, yes. which can be used as an L foot. Excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time. Hi. This is Amy at the Alte Store. I hope you like this.